So let's demonstrate how to perform an outer join in Power BI. So notice I've got my file loaded and I've already got my two tables loaded, employees and positions. And in order to, to get to the join feature, I'm going to have to click on transform data. And you see my employees and positions table there. And just like with the other joins, We'll go over to merge queries and we'll merge queries as new. So the merge queries is actually like join. Merge and join are synonymous in Power BI. For my second table, I'm going to select positions. And then I need to select the column that I want to join on. And then for the join count kind, I'm going to choose full outer. So full outer and full outer join are all synonymous. You'll hear them used interchangeably. And you'll notice down here it says the selection matches five rows from the first table. So one through four are matched. There's not a match for five down in the second table and four of five rows from the second table. So one through four are matched up there. But an outer join, as we'll see right here, includes all rows from all tables. So we end up with six rows. And we're just going to expand the columns here so we can see the columns from the right table that got joined in and you'll see that we've got nulls uh, for Ralph the dog because there wasn't a match for it in the second or the right table and we have nulls for frenzy monster drubber because there wasn't a match for it in the left table we can go ahead and rename this to outer join oops let's spell that right and then we'll click close and apply and that will load it into our Power BI environment and we have access to that table right there. That's all there is to it in Power BI to do an outer join.